Welcome to This Thing's Got Problems. I'm Eric, and the thing that has problems today is a pre-14, I'm only going to say pre-14 because I can't remember exactly what year this bike was, trike. Uh, it is a trike glide, Harley Davidson. She's got problems, for sure. Not mechanically, runs great, fires right up. Goes through the gears great, oil's decent looking, primary was decent looking, clutch is great, tires are good, brakes are fine, looks horrendous. It was a Texas ride, sat outside in hooboobs, I imagine, that's uh, the funniest weather term, uh, dust storms, and uh, the sun absolutely just destroyed the fairing. I've never seen such a thing. I've never seen the sun just take out something that's fairly new. I mean, pre-14 is still fairly new, at least in my mind. And it was to the point of repaint, replace type situation. So we're going to go through paint correction. We're going to go through forks. Uh, they were all crusty. Going to go through cleaning the wheels up. Going to go through the inner fairing was roached out from the sun. Going to go through... Uh, the whole thing. We're going to throw some leather conditioner on there and we're going to make this thing right ish. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's give you the old walk around here. Got the sunburnt fairing, the rusted ass headlight bezels, dented fender. Crusty forks, wheel that's never been washed. Lower fairings, bug damaged. Inner fairing, sun roasted. You notice the buttons down there, they got that white, that kinda powdery, scratchy, whatever is going on there. Tank, you know, normal haze and scratches. The seat not looking great, speaker. Fabric is purple and ripped. Do some conditioner there. The fenders, this had one of those uh, leather covers on it. Those things do nothing but slap the ever-loving shit out of your paint. Not great. Dirty motor. Here's the other side. Hi, wave to the people. Rear wheels, never been washed. Got some loose fender trim on there that's held on with some sheet metal screws, I believe. And some paint damage right there. There's the one cover. That's, I wonder what's under there. Never, ah, it's never good. And some chrome that could use some help. Some of that uh, that rubber and uh, vinyl inner lower fairing deals that, that need some conditioning and some blackening up. And then this, oh my, I've never, I've never seen that. In all my days, I've never seen that on something that is not, you know, 100 years old. Tour pack roached out. Cadillac tail lights. I'm okay with those. Fender's a little smashed up. Not smashed, but scraped. Not gonna really be able to do much with that, but touch it up. So overall, cosmetically, let's let's see. Mm -hmm. well, I guess it's not much worse than the rest. So let's get it up in the air. Let's get started. We're going to work from the front to the back. So it's kind of so bad that we're going to take the wheel off of it. So it's easier to get to the forks. To, I mean, we got to swap the fender out anyway. Uh, it's going to be way easier to do the wheel itself. And I'm going to throw just a horrible bunch of chemicals all over that and the brake rotor to get it to look kind of right. So it's going to be better off the bike. 
After, you know, you fight with a caterpillar for seven hours. Still going. Still. So, up. Oh, there it goes. So the outer fairing is getting replaced with something that's already been repainted and uh, you got to take this off anyway if you're going to pull the front fender. You got a stupid little clip on there for your dumb little uh, fender tip light that you know is good and buried. So you have to take that off to take your fender off if you want to you know just not go yanking on wires. Get that fender off there, get the reflectors off of there by any means necessary, hammer, knife, machete, whatever. And you guys have seen this process before. There's a couple videos on the channel. There's a crusty fork fix, and I believe one that's called full polish if you want to really step it up. This one I'm going for a stock-ish type of look because, I mean, look at the rest of the thing. We don't want to full polish this whole bike out. All right, real quick, if you guys got a fairing that's, you know, flops around and you have the outer fairing off, check that bracket and right there. Those are the ones that typically break. This seems fine, but you know, since you're in there, give them a look. So we got the forks cleaned up and we're moving on to all the switch housings that are corroded and white and crusty like this guy here. You know, just sand them down, sand it all down, get the, get the sandpaper out is what I'm saying. And just the interfering, the, the switch housings, everything, just give it hell. You got to knock all the Lucy's off or if you spray over it, you know, it'll, it'll peel again. So I hit this with some textured uh, Rust-Oleum for all surfaces plastic included i believe seems to work out great looks kind of stock doesn't look like you're trying to hide anything and then use the uh the, the the trim the black stuff here you know the stuff for the chevy avalanche get that stuff out and just smear it all over works great on the buttons and it doesn't stick to the uh the words the printed it wipes right off of that see how awesome is that All right, so now that that's looking good, it's time to take the headlight and the headlight bucket and everything out of the fairing.
So now that this is sorted, uh, gonna put a new windshield on it because why not? We're in there. Gonna grab one of these, um, whatever this is, lightly smoked, kind of not super old man tall. But before that, you know, let's address this wheel. I had to hit it with all the chemicals. There was smoke. It was probably dangerous. But it leaves that little white kind of haze. And you know what I'm going for. I'm going for the mothers. I mean, tried and true, right? Hot Riders, you all know. Look at that. Now we're going to address the fender. Got to replace it. Now, guys, I know you want to cut these. And when you cut it, then you got to splice it back together. And then there's lumps of electrical tape under your fender. We know how this is going to go, right? You don't have to do that. Just, just undo undo this back here, right? Okay. And then you go to your bench grinder with your most hated of screwdrivers, and you just grind it down into a sharp point that will puncture your thumb when you try this. And you jam it in there, and you can feel a little tab. It takes some practice. You can do it. And you just slide it out. You see that? There's no need for cutting. You know what? Put, put the machete away. All right? You just, you could just, see? You just pull it through. There you go. And everyone's happy. I mean, those, don't worry about those grommets. They never survive more than three weeks after the factory, you know, puts the bike out into the world. So this dumb wire goes through that dumb bracket that feeds into that dumb trim that goes all the way up to that dumb fender tip light. And it's kind of a, it's a, it's a dance, really, to get it up there. It's got to go through here first, and then you got to slide your little slidey stud thing on there, and then just remember how you did it. And then there's this guy, you know, the fender I'm going to use. This dude just, he's like, you know, hack you know, screw it all, right? You know, you just hacked, which is what... Then you gotta pull these off, you know, and uh, watch the eyes, because when they go, sometimes they just, you know, right into any... Oh, yep, there she goes. That's what I'm saying. Just be, just be careful. Now, you're putting the, ba the badges back on, you know, the new fender. I look at a little socket. You know, it kind of smushes that locking washer... What is, what is that even? I don't even know what you call those things. I just I just bring one to Harley when I need them, and it's like just give me these. I I don't care what it's called. Just give me it. Just feel around the back. If it's not vibrating on the fender, you know, it's good. If it's still feel it moving, give it a little smush. Technical term. It's in the Harley manual. It says smush it. So there's the fender back on. Wheels back on, everything looking good. Throw the fairing back on there. I don't know why the color and the focus is so bad right here. Don't pay attention to that. Ah, uh, so there's the front. Slightly more gooder than the rest of the bike. But I think a uh, it's an improvement. I mean, it had to have been, right? We got a new fender on there. We got a new fairing on there. We got the, uh, you know, it's that's new. Everything on there is new. Let's move to the back. Let's forget the tool we needed. Let's try it again. And then we're going to get this, uh, this stupid fender protecting cover thing off. <sighs> and then there, this is what it does. Look how jacked up that is. That's all got to get buffed out, and I guarantee it's all just dug in. This is going to take some work. We're going to need a wool pad. We're going to need some heavy cutting, whatever you got. Whatever has, you know, you can feel the sand in it. You're going to need that. I'm going to just give this area just a little try to see how this is going, and there's some hope. There's some hope here. It looks hazy, but it's going to. That's how it is in the first step. Don't worry about that haze. You're just trying to knock down the ugly right now. Moves in that uh, orange pad there. Just giving it hell.
always looks awful in this stage, but you're actually doing good. Look past the, the, the compound, look through it, and you can see the gloss that's starting to pop back out. I know, it's a, it's a horrible stage. We'll get through it though, everything will be good. So I went ahead and I did the polishing and the waxing on the front end here. Uh, yes, it was new paint, but it sat around for a while. And it's still, I mean, it was brand new. It was never buffed out. So there you go. That's, that's your end result. And I have plenty of videos like that on the channel if you want to see how to actually buff it out in the steps. You know, we're just going to show uh, the finishing. Always got to wax. Wax what you've done. Protect your work. And on a bike, black, depending on where you live, if it's hot out at all, I don't know, every six months, maybe more? I'd say at least every six months, this bike never, never happened. There's, oh yeah, look at that. That is a result, people. Never mind the cracked paint and the bird crap stains we're just gonna we're gonna put that tour pack rack right back over that and the chrome will draw your eye away from fireworks is that whatever the fireworks display is right there you know we're gonna we're not gonna pay attention to that part let's get it all wiped off the uh, the old rear end here wipe down your rear end Always, thoroughly, as I like to say. Alright, so we're getting this thing pretty well polished up. Gonna hit it with the old wax. Wax on, wax off. You've all seen that a million times. If you want to see the steps, I do have some will it buffs on the channel. Pretty easy stuff. Most people can do this. So definite improvement, especially on these fenders where it was all scuffed and banged up and it had those little leather covers on there. The kind that just flap in the breeze and just slap your paint all the shit. Took most of that out. Lowers polished up, as good as those are going to get. Still had a little bit of bug damage. But now it's time to address these purple and ripped speaker covers. I'm putting these... Aluminum grill type things on because, well, they were in stock. All right, so to do this, it's real easy. You get a set of uh, side cutters out, a razor blade. Again, uh, if you still got that machete laying around, just cut these plastic welded type of molded things off the back you can leave part of that stud because it's actually going to fit into the new grill and kind of center it up for you it's snap into place with a little bit of force just work these things off i mean obviously you can do it one-handed so once those things are off you can just kind of just just you know just get at it just push it off. It's fine. It's it's already screwed up. You're not going to break it anymore. Except for that ring. Don't break that ring. You need that. And this bad boy just kind of fits into place. If it's hanging up at all, if you see a gap on the other side, it's those little tiny nubs, those three in between the, uh, the screw holes. You know, just give them a good thumbing. And now, uh, you know, the seat. That's been sunbeat to hell. 
get some leather condition around there and then walk away for a few minutes and then come back and do it again a bunch of times because it's dry as hell. Give it all a good coating, get around the speakers, especially now when uh, the seat's off, you can get up under there and in between there and lift the tour pack and get, uh, get everything you can't reach. It's called detailing, people, not just uh, half-assing. It'd be a weird department. Yeah, I'm gonna take my bike over to the half-assing department and get it kind of clean. All right, these things suck. They gotta go. There ain't no saving them. I tried to hit it with steel wool real quick, and I think we all knew where that was gonna go. They're probably made by Karyakin, which means they're good for one season if they're good at all. Looks better without them anyways. And there you have it, people. This thing is back together. And I might say, you know, uh, humbly, pretty good. I mean, we got a new fender on there. We got forks that are redone. We have a repainted fairing. We have rust removed from the headlights. We have uh, everything polished up. The motor has been gone through with all, cleaning-wise, with all the stuff. Inner fairing redid that. Got uh, the, the switch housing for the reverse. That was done. The master cylinder. The seats have been condition again looking at it can probably be done again paint has been revived chrome has been gone through the fenders those actually i'm still surprised by the fenders it's actually way better than i ever thought those would come out rear wheels were good there's the other side uh i wanted to say passenger side but you know right side fender all good except for right there i just uh put some touch up in it nothing you're really going to be able to do about that Tour pack, you know, the little crack's not as bad when you got a rack on there. kind of distracts you a bit. Rear end, much better. Tank is good. Tank actually wasn't terrible on this one. I think this was the, the least of the problems was the tank. Chrome polished up. Let's just take a moment to drink her all in. You all enjoyed that seeing that thing come back around is that's good we can sell that thing and move on and feel good about it knowing that someone's getting a decent tri-glide those things are hard to find and very expensive when you do find them so a couple updates this c10 you see behind and everywhere around me we got parts coming we might be on that next week don't know it is December and the post office and UPS they try their hardest but they are overwhelmed right now and FedEx does never I, I don't do not get me going on FedEx anyway got parts coming we will get back on this we're gonna try to get this thing a roller as soon as possible so I can start doing some motorcycles in here and uh, you know literally roll this thing out when I got bike things to do so that would be cool uh, other than that thanks so much for subscribing and liking that has been awesome you guys are uh, slowly creeping up which I like uh, yeah I got nothing else 
to ramble on about. I think you've heard enough on me today. So with that, we'll talk to you next week. Bye.